Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to another episode of Saltfish TV. Today is a pretty big update video on this 45 rescue. Um, if you have seen the video up above, you'll see that wow, it has changed tremendously. Crazy how I got from the point of it looked gross and was just built up deposits to what it looks like now. First off, I'm going to go and show off this piece that my wife made. This is canvas. stickers up on here good little display that being said if you have a sticker reach out to me and I'll slap you on let's do it let's trade I got stickers without further ado the tank all right I got you off the tripod I just want to give you a closer look at this uh, canopy that I kind of made so supposed to be having more stickers in the mail but <clears throat> here we got pilot puddle give him a follow his tanks are awesome he had an Evo and that inspired me to get one of them of course in the center you got me because why not vivid creative aquatics for the random flow generator nozzles which I use on the Death Cube and the Evo. Don't really have a means of putting one on this tank. Algae Barn, because I use their pods. And Ocean Magic Fido. Now this guy, Waterbox Reef, he has a really cool Waterbox Aquarium. He does really nice uh, daily updates on his tank on Instagram. He's worth a follow, trust me. And Nelly, well, she got, she's got some really awesome tanks. She has a tank room. She's got quite a few tanks like I do. She's worth a follow as well. Alright, <clears throat> so, as you saw in that time lapse in the beginning of the video, that was my wife painting these. I think she did a, a bang on job. What do you think? See, that's what I mean by it's like, you know, makeshift. Kind of had a, I had a weird dimensions and I couldn't find the exact size. 
uh, canvas. But yeah, I think it turned out really well. And it does a job that I want of blocking the light from bleeding out into the room or blinding me when I want to look into the tank. Alright, let's rip this thing off. Metaphorically. Alright. And it also hides all this all these contraptions. So the last update video of this tank was me installing a uh, real estate, like Chinese LED light. It was a good light, don't get me wrong. But I decided to go the T5 route. And I ended up with one of these ATI uh, dimmable sun power fixtures. I like the dimmability version of it. Instead of just like 100% on or off. Um, but we. I didn't first get this light. I ended up trying to go a cheap route. I was using ATI bulbs, but I was using uh, this $75 uh, grow light. Don't get me wrong, this did the job too. It was nice and cheap. Got it on Amazon. Yeah, like I said, it's 75 bucks, and it's an eight bulb fixture. This was pretty nice. It had two switches, so four on, or four off, or all on or all off. It was doing the job in the tank but it didn't really have the reflectors, the individual reflectors like I wanted and it kind of just bled a whole bunch of light out as well. So I don't think a lot of it was going in the tank and it was coming out. Which I, why I originally created that canopy but now I got this ATI dimmable sun power I absolutely love this light. It's a fantastic light. So yeah, I went from LEDs to T5. And I actually just ordered something, a little something to go on this light to improve some uh, glowing enhancements, if you know what I mean. There'll be a video on that, don't get me wrong. Oh, but I also almost forgot, I put um, some Wi-Fi controlled LED strips all the way around when I first hooked up the light the other day. Sorry there's no video on this light, I kind of just wanted to get it installed and over the tank. But I can go more in depth of how I hung it and how much it weighs and everything if you'd like. But yeah, it, it's on a timer. I have it on just blues. I can do greens, reds, purples, yellows, all that stuff, but I'm gonna keep it on blue. Uh, it gives a nice bluer look. Have it come on at like five o'clock at night to 8.30 at night, or when it's nighttime. <clears throat> kind of like a moon moon setting. All right, also, it's a little dirty. I didn't, I didn't clean it before shooting this video. Don't crucify me. No. Okay, anyway. So this hang on back refugium, it's uh, made by CPR Aquatics. It's pretty awesome because not only is it a refugium, but I also use it as like a sump. So you got the Rio, I wanna say it's Rio 200 that's pumping water in there. So I got a, a UV sterilizer in there, my heater. I recently just picked this one up. It's a slightly bigger, it's an innovative marine. Uh, media reactor and I have the bulk reef supply um, high capacity GFO in there. I just swapped it out yesterday because it was spent. And then I also have the uh, ice cap K1 nano protein skimmer in here. As you can see it gets some pretty dark skim in there. I make it to where it pulls out thick, thick dark skim. I don't like wet. Then we get the good stuff out, you know what I mean? And then I've had this Innovator Marine media reactor for a while. It's a smaller version, but I actually have the bulk resupply uh, 0.8 ROX carbon in there, and that stuff works really good. And I was running Kimmy Pure Blue, but I took it out because that essentially these two do the same thing as Kimmy Pure Blue. And then 
Here's my grow light for the Chado. Found this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Works really well. And then I have a wave maker in there. Can't really see it. And then uh, Chado right there. And I've been having to trim that stuff down quite a lot lately. Oh, going into a bucket. All right. And then down in here, I have some Marine Pier balls and equivalent. Same type of balls I use in the Death Cube. There's a whole bunch of pods in here. Can't really see them crawling around. It's kind of dark. I can see them though. But yeah, lots of biological filtration. That's what I'm. That's what I harp on. That's what I believe in. Biological filtration. And it comes out with this nice waterfall spout. And uh, as for an ATO, I use the. Yeah, see if you can see it. Reef Breeders ATO. I actually won that on an Instagram giveaway. Very thankful for that. It works really well. And here's the ATO Reservoir, our five gallon Lowe's bucket. Ew, it's gross. You know what that is? I've been using Kalkwasser. It's actually been keeping my calcium, alkalinity, and pH at a great level. And I have it plumbed for both tanks, the Evo and uh, this 45 gallon rescue. Works really well. I just do a teaspoon per gallon and fill it up as needed. Keeps my levels great. Uh, let's see here. So, went through quite a few wave makers trying to figure out which one I liked, which one would fit the tank the best. I had like uh, the JBO RW series in here, but it was too conical. Uh, flow pattern wasn't widespread like I wanted so I ended up getting this uh, Jabo SLC yeah that sounds about right 120 or no SCP SCP 120 and then recently I just picked up another one for the other side SCP 90 because there's such thing as too much flow as you can see I have some pretty good flow I'm just moving my sand everywhere it's okay I always try to find the perfect balance. I think I found it. A lot of times when you think you found it, the sand blows around even more. But yeah, um, so I've had lots of fatalities and things trying to die on me and things. Yeah. But yeah, so this tank originally, if you saw the original video, it was gross. <laughs> and it was quite bare minimum. Now look at it, like this is amazing to me. So the rockscape as well changed drastically. Instead of three rocks, we got a whole bunch of rocks. Uh, someone was breaking down their tank because they were moving. So I uh, got lucky and scored some cool uh, live rock up in here. I should have cleaned the glass and the wave maker. It's got some stuff in it. Yeah, I threw some GS, the GSB rock back there. That thing's been growing like wildfire. Hoping it'll take off on the back glass. Trying not to let it spread anywhere else. And his tooth coral's going, going nuts. It's finally starting to grow really well. Gets a nice coloration. Uh, it's Favia. We got. Uh, some blue ice tinius or whatever. See if we can focus on it. It's like a blue ice tinius. Forgot what that. I don't know. Some tabling acro and some other acro. So the, these these ones up here almost died because I used to have a flame angel in here, <laughs> and that that bastard was so hard to catch. I had to take all the rock out just to catch it, and. They all pretty much were out of the water for quite a bit. I didn't have anything to put them in. And I'm surprised that they didn't die. Especially this one. They expelled a lot of its zoo. And now it's growing back. And it's finally coloring back up again. Can't really tell. This thing used to be vibrant green. I can see it in my eyes, but the camera's not picking it up. And then, uh, I guess another no-name Tinius back here. 
but it's doing really well. It's got some nice greens, purples. Yeah, it's coloring up pretty nice. You can kind of see them polyps moving. Let's see if we can get this one. This one's doing really nice out of nowhere, like it was kind of struggling. Look at them. Look at them little polyps. And it's starting to spread more at the base, so things are growing. So that's a plus. This thing's still growing. I'm happy about that. This thing did lose its color. It's coming back a little bit. Uh, it might. This one might survive. We'll see. Polyps keep coming out. Look at all that coralline algae back there. That's how you know you can grow SPSs if you can grow coralline algae. Oh, but this acro is doing super good in this tank right now. If it wants to focus. There we go. Look how furry that is. Mmm. Sold to me as like a whiskey acro. I don't know. All I know is purple with white polyps and it's really nice looking. So this is a ASD Rainbow Millie. Got some nice greens and colors and things, but it wanted to die as well, or trying to. But it looks like it's starting to grow back and I can start seeing its polyps coming out more. Let's see if I can get better. Ugh. Doesn't want to focus, anyway. This one randomly just up and started kicking the bucket. This one, I don't, I don't know what it is. Every time I move something down from the frag rack here, put it on this rock, it tries to die. Luckily, luckily this is called Jesus Acro, according to ASD Aqua. Sorry, Aqua SD. I mean, this one's doing really nice. Jesus Acro, pops are always out, having a good time, and we got. CB the thing and Acropora. This is a super good grower. This thing's already grown since putting it in the tank, like what, a couple weeks ago? I got a nice uh, Digitata back there. It's doing really good. This thing almost died too, and it's still recovering as you can see. It was all white, but look, it's growing. It's getting better. Oh, this little Rass, little clown. And we got a nice little alveopora here. It's pink, not blue. It's just the lights. But yeah, um, everything's doing good in this tank. Well, except for those few acros that want to keep trying to die on me. I've been keeping my levels as steady as possible. There we go. Let's go around in this flipper. Deep sea viewer. There we go. See, it's trying to bleach. Anyway, they're all still young. Some make it, some don't. That's part of the game, especially with SPS. They're so finicky. Let's get that Dottie back. He's been a bully lately to the Rass. He was beating himself up when he, the Rass first got in the tank. Trying to get the Rass and the Rass is fighting back. But everyone everyone seems to be finding their space, you know what I mean? You gotta battle it out. Tell them which territory is yours, you know? But yeah, so, I'll show you my mess. As you can see, I don't run a sump. Got some bright wheel products back here. I do a little bit of reef bio biofuel, which is, you know, like your carbon source. So carbon dose, I do a little bit. Um, a little bit, like maybe a milliliter every other night or something, just to keep things in extra check. And it keeps my phosphate nitrates in check too, especially nitrates. So essentially this hang on back refugium is my sump. I love this thing. I love this thing. Like I have it packed. Everything that I need is in there. The UV sterilizer, the thermometer, the meteor reactors, the skimmer, the chato, all that stuff, man. 
This tank has come a long way to the point I had in mind this was going to be my SPS tank and it's getting there. It's been three months since setting it up. It's getting there. I got some acro that are growing nice in there and some that are not. But that's the name of the game, especially with shipping. You never know what they're going to be uh, put through temperature wise or if they throw the box around or something. So yeah, that's the 45 gallon. If you guys, if you guys wanted to see anything specific or anything, just uh, put it down in the comment section below, and I'll make another little video for you guys. Uh, sorry, this if this one was too long for you, but there was a lot to go over in this tank. Just like with any other tank that I have, I harp on biological filtration is key, and it's first and foremost, the best type of filtration that you can have, biological. Because if you got that good bacteria in there, your tank will be all right. Well, things in the future, we're going to be adding on to this ATI picture. What do you think it might be? I think it'll make the tank look great so that we can uh, get some pop. You know what I mean? And for flow, the jar, the, any type of, I use a, the J, GBO, JBO, because ah, they're cheap and I like them. And that's all I use on my other tanks. So you can see the controllers are everywhere. But, uh, I mean, sure, if you got the money, you can get your max spec, you can get your ice cap, jar pumps. Um, they might last longer than these JBOs, but so far, I haven't had an issue with JBO. Just keep your pumps clean and your wave makers and all that stuff, and they work like new. Honestly, just keep up with your maintenance. Everything works great. think if there's anything else. Yeah? Oh, see, he's being a bully again. I don't know if you can see that. Thought he back. Beating up. Oh. Remember how I said not every coral makes it? Look him up. Fuck it. Now that's a coral graveyard right there. There's some pretty good high-end ones that just uh, up and left us at them randomly. Fish trap. But yeah, um, well that's all I got for you guys today. It's a good little update. If you've been following my Instagram, you've been seeing the progress along the way. Um, well, this is it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it that thumbs up, the like. Or if you want to uh, subscribe, it's up in here. And check out some other videos. We just recently did a giveaway. Maybe you want to see the, the winner. I don't know. Or you can check out the rest of the series, the beginning of this series. That's a good start. Remember the beginning of the video? It was somewhere up in the top. Yeah, anyway. All right. Right hands. Alright. Starfish TV out.